Say something. When I come home from vacation, I unpack my poo. We're going to leave this in the intro. Welcome to the Dead Mom Club. Oh, Mom Dead. It's super exclusive. Yay. He almost called him a little Eric. Patreon exclusive, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and don't stop. We're live from Miami, Florida, celebrating July 4th. <laughs> July 11th. And, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, as you can tell outside, uh, all of your favorite big-time comedians are killing right now. Yep. Look, there's everybody at the Bama Bear Show. <laughs> Spoiler alert. It's kind of quiet. There's nobody there, Skin. <laughs> Hell yeah. Back to you, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> Oh, man, shout out to uh, Happy Times, our yeah. show this past Wednesday. That was pretty dope. <clears throat> it sure was, Corey. <laughs> I killed. Yeah, you did. And um, <laughs> and I was there, too. <laughs> Justin did all right. <clears throat> but in, in terms of what you... I had a bunch you... of new shit. <laughs> all my shit was new. Yeah. When I say new, I mean like the day of the show. But yeah, hey, props to you though. Nah. You got some good laughs. Uh, almost as good as Cam Strong skin. Hey, shout out Cam Strong, but also fuck you, Cam Strong. Hey, <laughs> like uh, with your Paddington Bear coat head ass. Yeah, like bros, like my guy. I thought you was really gonna be a G, and uh, and then you big leagued us, and you you didn't want to go on last, and like I, I get it, bro. But like, you know, you wanted to go fuck that trans lady. <clears throat> Yeah, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, you know but wait saying? until the show's over. I swore, I swear, I would have gotten that fucking paginas wetter by the time <laughs> you got around to it. And uh, no, yeah. but Cam Cam came in and killed, did great, and then he left. That's that's the only issue I have, Cam. Yeah, uh, you know, but <clears throat> it was cool. <laughs> it's not the first time it's happened to us, and it won't be the last. And, yeah. At least he showed up before the show started. I think that's just by proxy because he's white. <laughs> so, well, like, well, you know, white people are always like three hours early. Early, yeah. Yeah, especially to the airport. And to the um, DMV skin. And to the h and Block skin. <laughs> White people camp out to get their taxes White people done. always be standing out in front of Best Buy before they open. Because <laughs> when I was a Flink guy, <laughs> I used to be able to get in early. and they'd All in one single line, too. They ain't even just like waiting in their car until the door opens. Like, hey, boy, that new Pokemon game coming out, boy. <laughs> that guy is like, I got to buy a TV today. I know it's going to be a seven-hour trip. <laughs> <laughs> Some ladies like I can see them in there. Now, I can see them moving. Now I got me a VHS that I'd like to connect to this plasma screen. <laughs> Tell me, does it it does it take RCA cables or is it coaxial only? <laughs> uh, or it's an HDMI cable skin? A uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What are you talking about? I don't participate in that Pride Month shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this new wave internet shit's gonna destroy the world, I tell you. And now I heard they got a HDMI. Those are all new letters they added to it. <laughs> Can't even buy a Zenith anymore. Zenith. <laughs> <laughs> Should've bought the Zenith. Zenith. Right. Bro, Zenith and then... uh. There was like a C a version of TV's a brand of T Casio. <laughs> Them bitches were trash back in the day. <laughs> you knew your family was fucked up if you had a Zenith, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. You saw that lightning on that little Z. <laughs> you were like about to clown on your fucking <laughs> sound quality at ass. Dude, you remember? I don't know the make of it, but do you remember the <clears throat> the big TV that I had in my room for a long time that was 
swivel. It was wood, and it was big as fuck, but it was a big <laughs> square. And finally, we got rid of it one day. And, like, it's like a TV built into, like, a wood cabinet type thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you had to push the buttons, like, on the thing. It had, like, a little... <clears throat> tick, like, <laughs> yeah. And I broke that bitch because it was too satisfying. Go... <laughs> And uh, y'all know what I'm talking about. There was the first bug. It said, yeah, I bu- I done been a bit. <laughs> um, we put it out by the road, and it took like 17 fully grown men to pick it up. But only two of y'all put it out by the road skin. Actually, yeah. So we'll shout out That's to you. That's probably how I threw out my back skin. Mm. But uh, no, that bitch was heavy. Now, I've had a... People love us talking about TVs, I'm sure. But uh, I have a uh, Vizio that I've had for like 10 years, and it's like a 42-inch flat screen, 1080p and everything, and it's just still... Vizio was on the come up. They used to be the bootleg TVs, and now they make one of the best ones on the market. Yeah, but I I got it like when we started dating, and that bitch is still going. <laughs> but me and you started dating. Can... Yeah. Wait, Ooh. it ain't even Pride Month no more. <laughs> nope, it's not. Well... <laughs> That joke so no was old more, anyway. <laughs> yeah, so no no more celebrating the gays. Get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> hack hacks. <laughs> blood, blood, sipping. <laughs> Speaking of blood, blood, sipping. <laughs> <laughs> JK47 skin. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You don't <laughs> want to tell them how you thought I was both mom dead. <laughs> That was that was pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, no context. <clears throat> Anything I say, you will like. <laughs> He'll get everybody in trouble. Skin. <laughs> yeah. Well, <clears throat> especially, it doesn't matter. None of this matters. Hey, but shout out! This episode is brought to you by Wow 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 Dritty Shawls. That's right, Dritty Shawls. Get your own pack of Hanes Dritty Shawls. Give us a minute. Also, the <laughs> we uh, recommend the the rubber glove skins. <laughs> um, also for I an extra. I also four- have a rubber glove skin. <laughs> if you're gonna pick up the Dritty Shawls, you shouldn't p- pick them up bareback like Corey just did. Yeah, I'm gonna. My fucking thumb's gonna have E. coli now. <laughs> You're gonna get Hep C. <laughs> uh, and then when I die, I'll say Hep C. You later. <laughs> Hell yeah. No. Uh, also, wow, wow, wow. Uh, Dead Mom Club live recording on July 22nd. Yep. Which yeah. is Saturday at uh, Benji's Cafe in Daleville. Daleville. Bring your own beverage. <laughs> As long as they have alcohol. Don't bring your own Puerto Rican food. <laughs> yeah, that's disrespectful. They don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> Get their food. It's good. For real. It's really good. The mashed potatoes slap. Service is good. They get it to you quick. And uh, they t- uh, play with your balls. And nothing is ever missing whenever you order it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's ever missing when you come back. From not being there for a while. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, a fly was trying to drink my drink. He's not even 21. <laughs> <laughs> Might be 21 remember we, minutes. Remember we talked about the the lifespan? That pro- that fly probably like 92 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I been heard y'all talking shit. <clears throat> <laughs> I just made my way over here from the other shed. <laughs> Damn, Mom Club, I got something I want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> My family immigrated for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> My family immigrated here from Ozark. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, blah blah something. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, no, man, it's been an interesting. It's been an interesting week. Yuck. Uh, you know. Yeah. They found them little lyrics in that uh that submarine gimmick. Yep. No. We uh oh, I thought they found a foot or like a human remains can. I, I mean, I know they know it blew up because, like, the controller's down at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... Hey, shout out to Logitech, though. for the, <laughs> That's got to be the new, like, Nokia phone being unbreakable. <laughs> Hell yeah. Is that everything else was decimated in that implosion except yeah. for that Logitech controller. Dude, I heard that their parts were probably shot out of the side, like, <laughs> like mist or even, like, like, toothpaste coming out of a tube. 
So, but the Logitech controller. Yeah. <laughs> what? But that bitch was just like, woo, down to the bottom, <laughs> waiting for that next uh, big. And they're probably gonna take it back, put it in a fucking museum. Oh, <clears throat> bro, I would visit that museum. Skin. Bro, I'm just gonna say, does Stockton Rush not sound like the most like fake ass like billionaire name? Like it sounds like he's a made. Simpsons name. Yeah. yeah. Hi, I am Stockton Rush. <clears throat> like. It just sounds like a douchebag billionaire name. Is that that little Eric's name? Yeah, the CEO that died. <laughs> Stockton Rush. Like, it just sounds <laughs> like a name somebody would write for, like, a shitty movie. <clears throat> or, like, like, as a placeholder name until they thought of something better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sounds fuck like it, some just, rich prick. Just go with the Stockton Rush or whatever. I don't fucking care. <laughs> Stockton Rushkin. <coughs> Stockton Rush skin. Hey, uh Rest in peace skin. T- sure. Sis. <laughs> Whatever. Rest in peace is. Um, <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> if uh unless you just came out as like toothpaste <laughs> and then you're just rest in peace. Uh Stockton syndrome. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hey, but shout out to today. Uh you'll be <coughs> able to come see us. Do our ticket ticket thing at the uh, at the social. Oh yeah, that is uh, that is today. The comedy open mic night skin, the second <laughs> Mondays of every month. Yeah, an enterprise at the social on main. Enterprise skin. at the social on main skin. So yeah. Sometimes you can lay down on the couches and record a podcast. <laughs> and I wanted to wanted separate to fight time. you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. let's talk about it, Skin. Dude, we been talked about how you want to fight me. The bartender said, fuck you and your dreams. <laughs> I'm about <laughs> to fuck you up. That oh. was pretty funny when Cam was like, only only get mine, and he only got ours. He was like, bitch, I don't know you like that. <laughs> <Bitch>. <laughs> Just because you said that, even though I hate these guys, I hate you a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, at this very moment. He didn't want to give Cam his props. <laughs> yeah. That's the bartender version of no selling something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, mm, nah. I know how this will go. Can you I get like a... You have or, some kind of control over me. Yeah, like, or when somebody goes, can I get a... And they go, no. And then you're like, ha, ha, uh, yeah, okay, anyway. <laughs> yeah. I'm usually like, little Eric, you need to go home, Skin. Can I get You just a, need to go home. You need to <laughs> stop working and go home. You're in a bad mood, Skin. That's right. We don't need your kind here. Mm-hmm. And it just so happens to be that you're of a different race. This is just because you're a <laughs> shitty bartender, Skin. That's right. Wait, no what? other reasons, Skin. <laughs> Bitty Shartender. <laughs> That's another character ah. from the Stockton Rush book. <laughs> <laughs> and it's some lady with, like, fucking grease back hair, and she's chewing gum, and she's like, Hey, I'm Bitty Shartster. <laughs> <laughs> you guys gonna get something or not? Yeah. Why do you want a, a maraschino cherry on that? Come on. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you think it's weird when, because uh, I know some people complain about when waitresses uh, call you like honey or baby or doll or whatever. Is that weird? Only when they're hot. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, because then you want to, I want to be like, yes. And, but <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to like sit there and order an omelet when your dick is hard. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I could do it. Yeah, I mean, I <laughs> certainly. Uh, but uh, I've ordered breakfast steaks for everybody one time <laughs> with a dick hard skin <laughs> from your hotel room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I use the app too. Skin. So if it's so if it's an old bag skin, and she's like, "What's up, doll?" You're just like, "All right." I'm like, "Hey, how's it going?" What up? You're gonna die soon. I'm not gonna try to change how you talk. <clears throat> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you saying so? Like, it's a, it's kind of sexist. I don't know. It's just, a, yeah, maybe. I don't. know. It's an interesting take. <laughs> well, you, I thought because you it, said you're you being were... truthful and you're right. Like, I guess that'd be the same way. If it's kind of like uh, in anything in life, like, like let's say that you were at a um, a work training thing, and they had to pair you up into into, into groups. You would much prefer to get like an old lesbian bitch. Than to get like the hottest girl in the room, yeah. Because 
when when it's the hottest girl in the room, you're just like, mm-hmm. like whether you're taking for me different reasons. Like I'm taking and yada you're, yada. And you're thinking about her and knickers. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Yeah, well, um, yeah, you know, and then uh, if you're been <laughs> fucking taking, <laughs> ah. well, anyway, I thought you did that on purpose. Kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, mm. nah, but uh, I don't know. I I I also am looking forward to other projects that we have coming up, like. Uh, but tip it and uh, but tip it and uh, but tip it. Oh yeah! <clears throat> Shout out to Luke Coombs. <laughs> wow, 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 wow! If y'all want another clip, check it out. <laughs> Ain't nobody give me a bath. I don't know. Um, I would see no sexual pictures or videos or anything like that if I was you, but, um, that's you, Corey, but, um, but, um, but, um, um, Justin, um, but I know you real well, Corey, I didn't know that you was, um, gay, but, um, you just hang in there. Oh, and we're back, and I was just playing a character on those. Just doing it for the bits. Can <laughs> sure you were. <laughs> it was actually private messages. He just hit live on accident. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like us being there, but we were the only ones there. <laughs> yeah, we were giving him some boosts. <laughs> just trying to get Luke's numbers up, you know, like a good guy. Bro, shout out to the fact that me finding out that one of my closest friends is a groomer. Oh, yeah. That uh, fucking, what kind of dogs? <laughs> uh, any of them that are underage. <laughs> Understood. I can't get over that radio looking like an owl. I just <clears throat> like, a little bit. Yeah. Who are you looking at, little Eric? Or like a like a very chubby praying mantis? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm working on my figure. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta stop smoking, also. Well, you don't. You know, a praying man ain't gonna have like a regular ass voice. Yeah, they gonna have that. That's that's, that's just, true. They look like they work at Kmart, bro. Like that's a smoker's voice. <laughs> they look time. like they work at the kiosk at the mall. Yeah, <laughs> man, man. <laughs> 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 Fuck you, little Eric. <laughs> you greasy son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean the bugs. <laughs> yeah. We got one thing on here. I let you have it for fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you, buddy. They always got them like un- them li- un- li- licensed, unlicensed T-shirts. Mm. Shout out, blah blah. Step. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, the fonts not matching, blah blah. Oh. <laughs> God damn, this is not good. <laughs> There's. Uh huh. No, I know what you mean though. They have like the Play Doh character, but yeah. they make him like green instead of y- yellow skin. Yeah, sometimes it's more heinous than that. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much what I'm talking about. They'll have like, uh, they had like, uh, what was it? <laughs> Marilyn Monroe, like in a Bulls jersey. <laughs> and then like Marge Simpson, like, but she's a Mona Lisa or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, and you're just like, who the fuck is this for? Who's buying that? <laughs> Lil Eric's. Speaking Lil of Eric's. off brand, uh, <laughs> speaking of off brand, <laughs> <laughs> off brand knockoff, you know, logos or whatever. Uh, <laughs> that night, I met Jimbo's aunt that came to the show or whatever. Yeah. I was like, I've heard of Black Panther, but this is Black Cougar skin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. Did you say that on stage? No. Oh, uh, like, okay. It just occurred to me because I was thinking of what a knockoff. Oh, uh, yeah. And I thought Black Cougar instead of Black Panther, and then I did something with it. <laughs> yeah. And that's the science behind jokes. Our pod's over now. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah. I forget the songs. Yeah. Um, None of the fans care, Skin. <laughs> fans. Hey, shout out to uh, our one guy that came out 
Shout out Joe. Joe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming to the Flappy Times show and hanging out, watching me bomb skin. <coughs> Pretty yeah, cool. Watching me kill skin. Yep. And uh, next time, maybe it'll be a little more even skin. Maybe not. Maybe I'm uh, <coughs> a rising star skin. Maybe I'm peak skin. Maybe you're America's top young rising comedian. Yeah. They do all about the, you know, they pop off around mid-30s nowadays. Yeah. That would be funny if you got, like, a Netflix special and you're just, like, you're just fucking everywhere. And I'm just, like, <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> you're, like, can can I open up for you, Skin? You guys, uh, I don't know if you can tell by looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely done weed before. Yeah. <laughs> There's like six people there, and they're like, "We've heard it." <laughs> like shit. Yeah. They'd be like, "Tell some of Corey's jokes, kids." <laughs> <laughs> that guy's hilarious. <laughs> I come out. Shut up. <laughs> that guy's hilarious. <laughs> Fuck this Justin guy. He sucks. Philip titties. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Philip. Both mom did titties. So did you want to talk about the grooming guy or you want to move on from that? Oh <laughs> just <laughs> That's one of those moments where I was just kind of trying to think of what to say. And then it registered. <laughs> yeah. Um <clears throat> Yeah, no, uh <laughs> that shit ain't cool. No, uh, that no. made me feel kinda like a piece of shit. Leave the kitties alone. Yep. Uh, unless they're your your kids. And then play with them, but not sexually. That's all there is to it. Yeah. Might or if you have a, thoughts. Might have picked a weird way to say that. But. If you have thoughts about like, you know, oh, I'm going to go fuck a bunch of kids and then kill myself in this like horrific act, just skip the first step. Yeah. I actually had a joke about that. You remember that? No, skin. Um, Yeah, I don't remember the whole setup, but it was... I, Sorry, I think a f fly went in my Red Bull and I was... I thought you were trying to um, make sure he got in your brain. <laughs> Get in there, buddy. Come on. <laughs> Be like the, that scene from the fly skin. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Flaw. <laughs> um... Basically, it was like, uh, if there's any pedophiles here, yeah, I remember now, if there's any pedophiles here, uh, I just want to let you know that uh, it's okay, you don't have to live like this, you can just- Both mom did it. It's oh. not really that funny, that's why I quit doing it, but, you Hell know, yeah. you know how my one-liners were. Mm. Yeah, you can just blah, blah, sip and Baby, you know how my one-liners were. But, uh, I don't know if they can be treated or not. Because I've heard of guys getting treated like it's kind of like getting treated for being gay. Like I honestly think that some people are fucked up in the head, and that I don't know if it can be stopped. They can always not. just go after little people. <laughs> I've been said that. Yeah, shit. there's got to be a solution, but I'm not trying to defend them. I'm just if saying if it's just a sexual thing and not like a mental thing, like some people try to argue it is. Now I definitely think that the, there's dumbass people that are in their 20s or 30s that want to hit up like a late teens person and they're just like well we ain't hurt nothing they're almost that is not really any better but in a way it sort of makes me feel better because it's like it's to me different than somebody going after a fucking eight-year-old or something because that's like a whole different set of like you know what i'm saying in biological miscues and just yeah 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 like i'm not saying it's okay to fuck a 17 year old but I'm saying if a 23-year-old goes after a 17-year-old about to be 18 and they really care about each other a lot, it's like, eh. I mean, what? Eh. But, like, when it's a guy creeping on somebody who's, like, 12 or something, it's like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, that's a, there's something wrong like with Drake you. Like Drake and Millie Bobby Brown. Hmm. Well, we all knew she was cute, but we all, you know, I guess he couldn't wait to say it. That was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. They was texting each other when she was like 14. Skin. Yeah, that's creepy. Talking well, how about old, boys. How old was he? Talking about boys. I Jake was like, who's the cutest in your class? <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> is, is the cutest in your class even half as cute as me? <laughs> <laughs> F 
fuck Drake. All right. Uh, I know you fuck with his stuff, his old stuff. His old stuff, yeah, but oh right. You used to call me on the flail flown. Look, right there, Skin. Millie Bobby Brown, 14, and Drake, 31, text about boys. <laughs> <laughs> this is called grooming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I guess that's uh, what we're calling this episode. Uh, this is called grooming. This is called grooming. So, uh, no, nah, <laughs> I don't, I don't uh, support or stand by anything that my friend did. Yeah. Uh, Nor should you. Yeah. Um, and it's nobody that you guys know. So, I, it's just I was freaked out when I found out about it. So I called Justin and was like, "Hey, dude." Yeah. <clears throat> That's always a bummer, because it's not really like something that friends would even, I would hope to be talking about. But I'm not yeah, saying, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's unexpected. So you wouldn't, you couldn't just be like, "Yeah, but that's just him." <laughs> you know, like, it's not like I'm going to tell you. It's not like he told anybody is what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, so everybody was shocked. It wasn't like there was one guy that was like, I knew he. F- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I'll take that out. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I don't just mean him. I mean, anytime this happens, like, well, usually there's like a neighbor that's like, he was pretty creepy skin. But then you're like, I think you just wanted to get on TV at some point. All I think all my neighbors are creepy skin, so maybe just all neighbors think each other's neighbors are creepy skin. Yeah. <laughs> that was part of the joke. <laughs> <clears throat> Dude, can I just air out a grievance real quick? Sure is good. So I was at the store earlier, like shopping, and I was trying to get like I was looking for tahine. You know tahine? Yeah. And, like, there was these two bitches on the spice aisle, and they were just fucking standing right in front of what I needed. And, like, I'm not the type to just be like, move, bitch. But, like, I put my cart right behind them, and I was just like, you know, for, like, you know, ever. And then I did a circle around, and then I did another circle. And, like, finally they moved, and then it wasn't even where (laughs) they were. But, like... (laughs) Don't you hate that shit? Dude, I'm just bitching at this point. When people are just fucking, like, oblivious, like, maybe he could need to, you know, like, get right here. But they looked like a couple of Karens, and I wanted to not have a conversation with them. <laughs> so, two, what you would do? Be like, move, bitch. Two bitches in the spy style sounds like a fire-ass mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the comeback of the Spice Girls, and it's only two of them. Yeah. Shout out to my, like, ten minutes of my set being about white people. Yeah. And white people are cucks because they all laughed at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's that's the beauty that's the, of it. Yeah, it's yeah. I think there's... I'm not trying to say... Okay. Mm. Let's talk about it. Okay, Skin. So, I feel like you're at an advantage with the um, with that line of joking... Uh, and nothing against you. I think they're funny jokes, but I'm saying like it's a good angle because most white people these days are like gonna sh- they want to show that they're in agreement. Like, oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Fuck us, you know. Like, then like, do you not know, get what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. You don't I agree because we're don't in Alabama agree at all. Hmm. Okay. It's like when we said that uh, blah blah Sweppin was getting sympathy laughs. Huh. Kind of the same idea. I uh, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, I don't know. I actually want to see that same set in a black room. <clears throat> that was an interesting uh, backhanded compliment. My bad. I meant it as a good thing. Yeah. I just meant like to go from that well, angle. Shit wasn't really funny. They were just laughing because <laughs> they're all white. No, it was funny. I'm just saying like I don't know how it would go in a black room. I don't know if they would be like. Hesitant to laugh. I mean, it's all. I'm. I'm going from the angle of like, the way that people are in public. Like I. Th- I think it's funny, but I think about what other people think about when they hear it, because the the, the dynamic of political bullshit, and all that. Or are they I just don't there think to anybody laugh? gives a fuck about laughing about the political aspect of laughing at a white person stereotype. That's my point. 
So it seems like you're like being edgy, but it's like I don't know, very acceptable to do. I think it's it's edgy because when you laugh, it's an admission of guilt. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So like, especially when you do like the uh, what was the one that popped everybody? White like, people invented boring church. That one and the Red Bull one. Like that's when you're striking on something <clears throat> that they're like, "Fuck, he's right." Yeah. yeah okay. I got you. Which is what I do, which is how I got the inspiration for that joke. <laughs> do you have any more? I mean, don't say them now, but... Give us some mirror <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hell yeah. Let me see, because I know... I don't... You know what I'm saying? Like, don't say them on here, but, like, I'm just curious if you... If it was me, I would... Uh, I'd go over the video of it, and then I would take the ones that worked and then drop the ones that didn't, unless you just love them. And then replace them with ones that you think. I think might it be just better. starts rolling, so like yeah. I have to. Uh, I know I fucked up my delivery when I said white people love the shit out of some Joker and Harley Quinn Hot Topic shirts. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I said Harley and Joker Quinn the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was actually kind of funny to me because I was trying to picture like <laughs> the Joker ha- like his name being Joker Quinn when he marries her. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm not clowning on you. I know it was a fuck up, and I do that all the time. I did it. I actually realized that I did it whenever, because I did the dead mom joke to those two Lil Eric's in the front. Yeah. And earlier in the set, I say. You already said that your mom uh-huh. did. Yeah. yeah, that's right. <laughs> I didn't want to say what I actually said, but um, yeah. Yeah. So, if like. If you're listening I, to the podcast, they already know skin. <laughs> so, like. <laughs> It's called the Dead Mom Clubs. No, it's not that. It's the line that I said. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. No, I know, but I didn't like, want to. It's you know. A little, I got you. I got you. All I right. Got you. Um. Hell uh, yeah. No, I don't have any extra ones to add on there. I thought that the um. All the Harry Hitchers are I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought that the uh, Black Church bit would have gotten a little bit of a, more of a pop. Um, yeah. What well, What was that? Was that the guilt? I thought it was fucking. I thought it was funny, but everybody seemed kind of like. Well, really? I wrote it dual layered, and I and now that I I look at it, it comes off as just me wanting to do a black person's accent. Yeah. But that was like that was supposed to be the beginning of the bit. Like, wow, he's really doing the yeah, accent yeah, yeah. up there. And then, and then the I write the, and then I write the joke about getting the hell up out of here, and like it. And I thought that was such a funny, like a smart joke. Mm-hmm. You know that it, you know anyway. And then I made my little throwaway comment afterwards that and made him laugh. Yeah, it tied the whole thing together. It really did. Like that was that was actually pretty good. Yeah, and I so knew I knew at the time that you had fucking improvised it. I could just tell. Like, I have I do have my improvised like my non scripted voice. Maybe I'll it's just be that. Sub it up. That sub it I just I just know that I do the same thing. So I was just like, I bet he just came up with that shit, and, <clears throat> and it and it killed. You had some good ones, man. But yeah. Well, what's been going on with you, Skin? Uh, I don't. I I I don't know. You want to take a break, Skin? We'll be out, we'll be right back, Skin. All right, suck my balls. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh. Don't get it twisted. This rap shit is mine. Mother X go give it to you. Fuck way for you to get it on your own. X go deliver to you. Knock knock. Open up the door. It's real. With the non-stop pop up and stainless steel. So hard getting busy with it. But I got such a good heart that I make a motherfucker wonder if he did. Damn right. And I do it again. I am like so I got to win. Break bread with the enemy. No matter how many cats I break bread with a break. Motherfuckers never wanna know you but your life saved Bitch, and that's on a life day I'm getting down, down Like a nigga said freeze The whole 